I am all about trying something different for the season. As the weather is getting nicer, you are going to want some lighter weight pieces. When you're traveling, you're going to want to try something new as well. Springtime is wonderful to experiment with color, to experiment with things that are lighter weight, different fabrics, and just having a bit more fun with your style. When the sun comes out, it like it lights you up and it makes you feel like there's just all this newness that can come into your life. And fashion is part of that. Fashion is a way that you can express yourself. As I shared today about the spring trends, I want you to keep in mind, yes, a lot of these are very fun and I'm sure you can integrate it into your looks, but keep in mind that you want to make sure that as you are buying things that they continue to align with how you want to look and feel. It's so easy to get drawn to something shiny and new without being intentional. So as you're listening to this, I will share some tips on how to be intentional with the pieces that you're purchasing. If you haven't gone to myclosetedit.com, this is a blog post and I'm going to have it in the show notes. So it will take you to a direct link, but you can actually shop the items I am sharing with you. So the items that I'm sharing with you are, how should I put it? It's the spring trends translated into more elevated wear. So when I'm working with people, yes, you do want to have fun with your fashion, but you also want to think about what is your life like? If I'm adopting this trend, how can I wear it to work? How can I make it feel like me? How can it feel like I'm not trying to create some kind of persona or wearing a costume? I think those are all very important things to keep in mind as you're trying something different. At first, when you try something new, it always, of course, it's going to feel slightly uncomfortable or weird. For some people, you know what? You try something new and instantly you feel good. For others, it takes a little bit. And let's just get into it. So I want to share also, as I'm talking through these, what clients are realistically buying. I have been a stylist for 15 years. I work with clients, I'd say primarily from like 30 to 50 years old, both men and women. But today we're talking about women's wear trends. And when we are shopping together, I really like to integrate pieces that are slightly different, even for clients that are more classic, finding the modern touches, which sometimes means a few different trends that we trickle into their looks, makes it feel so elevated and fun and modern. So I'm all about that. Everything I'm sharing today are things that you can actually wear, that you can put on, grab from your closet, walk out the door, and you are ready to go. These are not trends that are like so far out there that you're not going to be able to wear day to day. I want this to be like real advice, real things that you can actually do. The first trend I want to talk about are statement trench coats. And what I mean by that is something that has maybe more volume in the sleeves, something that has a cutout in the front, something that has like bigger lapels on it. The top two that I've been looking at is one that is more of a baby blue and one that is beige because those are two colors that can easily be integrated into your spring looks. And with both brands, what I love about it is the lightweight feeling of it. So it's something that you can easily pull over your pieces. Like for example, right now I'm wearing a blazer. So if I'm going to do a trench, I want something that isn't tight. You want something slightly oversized that you can wear over your lightweight jackets, lightweight spring knits. You want something that has a little more room. And when I'm thinking about a lightweight, just fun statement trench, I actually recently found one by Robert Rodriguez that is gorgeous, that has the off the shoulder seam to it, slightly baggy, yet still when you see it, it looks so elevated and put together and you could wear it with jeans. You could wear it with something that you're wearing to work. So you want something that feels like you. So for some people, they do like the wrap where you could just like tie it. Personally, I like to tie it in the back and keep it open and create like this long line. So that's a little trick that you can do with it. Or you can get the belt that actually has a belt loop that you can put through for people that hate tying a trench coat. I know many clients just want something easy. Having one that is belted and that you can loop around is awesome. That's a great piece that you can get and it could go with everything that you have. When it comes to trench coats, there are different lengths that you can do. If you are petite like myself, I actually prefer a trench coat that maybe hits, I'm 5'3", so a trench coat that hits like right below my knee. 
I want you to keep in mind as you are shopping, if you need something hemmed to a place that you like better, don't be intimidated by getting that piece hemmed, especially with the trench coat. That's an easy piece that you can get hemmed. So if you find one that you like every part about the top and where it hits at your waist, but you're kind of like, mm, maybe this one feels too long. It goes down to my down to my ankles or something. Go to a tailor and see what they can do about it. The majority of trench coats can be hemmed. If it has lining, it does take a little more um, of a process. So it does cost more, but if it doesn't have a lining in it, it is a quicker fix and can be done. I'm all about really great trend pieces that are pieces that can become more like a classic element to your style. So the brands that I sourced for this are by Theory and also by Soya and Kayo. The second trend, sheer elegance. Oh my gosh, sheer elegance. If you are somebody that loves just something romantic, you love feminine pieces, you like the lace, you like a little see-through touch, you're looking for something sexy without being like overly sexy, finding the right sheer elements to add to your wardrobe this season are going to be just a great item that you can mix and match with what you already own. Whether you wear a sheer top with a pair of denim, or if you have an event to go to doing a sheer dress, or even some sheer heels that are lacy. At the end, I'm going to share what trends not to try, but there is this like in-between point. So with this sheer elegance that's going on, I do have to say the flat sheer ballets that you've seen, like our Mary Jane, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Sam Edelman has them. I think a lot of brands have their own version of it. I have not yet had a client that wants to purchase that. It is on trend. So let me like try to paint a picture for you of what this looks like if you're listening and not watching this on YouTube, but it's almost like showing your toes and it looks like a sandal because it's mesh, but it's not a sandal, it's a flat, but it kind of looks cute and put together, but it's a weird in-between. That is what this sheer, <laughs> this sheer flat looks like. And I personally have a version that I enjoy that I got in Italy at a small boutique and it has a cap toe to it and the rest of the shoe is sheer. And that works for me, but a completely sheer shoe. I'm not sure. So you'll have to tell me on Instagram, what are your thoughts about that sheer flat? Are you wearing it? Have you tried it? What do you think? In regards to the other sheer pieces that I'm sharing that you should try because it actually will fit into the more classic, really put together elevated look is a dress by Theory. It's almost a mini black dress. And at the end, it has this beautiful sheer overlay so that it looks more like a midi length dress. Such a classic take on like the breakfast at Tiffany's look. I'm in love with this dress. I feel like you could wear this into fall and to multiple events and just accessorize it differently. With the heels, yes, I know they are more of a heel that you would wear to an event. They are that poppy red, that beautiful like statement shoe, but I wanted to share with you something in a sheer shoe that could work for you outside of the like super trendy sheer flats that I was sharing about. Go to the link below in the show notes so that you could see what I'm exactly talking about and you can shop these pieces. Roses, roses, roses are everywhere. So for my third trend to try is it like 3D rose that is just popping out on that shirt rather than a print but rose prints are also very in but i'm really more leaning towards that one that is like the detail on the shoulder or the detail on the halter top or the side of a skirt or a dress i think it's very feminine and also just a fun take on roses on something elegant and feminine that we haven't seen in a while in fashion a lot of fashion has been um, the past few years, more of like the quiet luxury. So having these pieces that have a little detailing to it, clients are just loving, especially clients that have been really into in the past, like pieces by Anthropology, pieces by Millie, pieces by Alice and Olivia that have a lot of detailing to it. Those items are coming back and we saw it on the runway. The two that I am loving is just this going out top, something that you could wear out with a beautiful, black pair of pants or even denim if you want to 
or a slip skirt and it's a halter top in a navy blue kind of like my jacket i have right now and i think it could just be worn so many different ways i'm all about some buying things that you can wear multiple ways and that don't just sit in your closet you don't want to buy pieces that feel special that just sit in your closet the other piece i share is a dress by Sincasept, and it's pink it has a little bit of like that cut out on the side and i think it's so fun for spring and summer you could wear this to a wedding you could wear this to a brunch you could wear this to a bridal shower i feel like there are many ways that you can wear this and places that you could wear if you have an event to go to number four of trends to try the ice blue trend so there are a lot of different colored pastels of course they don't want to overwhelm you with like a ton of things to try but in general like the ice blue this really pale yellow is really in and what i love about the blue is that it works with so many people if you are somebody that is naturally attracted to just earth tones i feel like the ice blue is an easy piece that you can pair with a beige with a olive green i feel like you could get so much use out of it so i share with you this veronica beard suit you can either do one piece of the three or you can do two or you can buy all three if you love it that much but for my clients that are business professional or even business casual getting a full suit that you can break up is such a great investment to have for the season and with the veronica beard i just love the texture the detailing to it you'll get so much use out of it this season and next season as well if you love a suit and want to still feel really feminine i think that you'll really enjoy this veronica beard outfit and also if your lifestyle is more casual and i hear from a lot of clients that dresses are just a go-to so if you're somebody that doesn't like to think about what to wear during summer and you love pulling on a dress during summer putting some sandals on and you're good to go the frame dress in this ice blue is gorgeous the neckline is higher too so if you want something that feels comfortable casual and just great for going out to the market going to run errands but still feels really elevated this is a dress that you're going to have to check out it's also super flattering for many body types because it has a ruching through the tummy area oh i just love the elegance yet casual aspects of this dress and number five i can't forget spring knits spring knits are so popular right now it's so funny because i feel like last year it wasn't such a big thing but this year having that layered piece or a spring knit that you wear over your bathing suit is going to be a it piece of the season i do have a lot of clients that have enjoyed i didn't share it on here but just to keep in mind spring knits don't have to be like a full-on sweater or cardigan like i mentioned it could be a dress that you pair with your bathing suit as you're walking around during summertime and it could be something that you take with you as you travel and having a sleeveless knit piece that was more in last year and it's still back in so if you have those sleeveless knit pieces from last season bring them back out again and you could wear them with a slip skirt you could wear it with jeans shorts there are so many different ways that you could wear a spring knit and i'm loving the variety of different colors and how it looks more put together so i personally I enjoy pieces that are very tailored and there are many different knits that you could wear that look like a jacket and have that structure to it so you still feel like you're more dressed up than just wearing like a sloppy cardigan that you throw on in the link you could directly purchase the pieces that i'm sharing but i have a dress by sandro that is absolutely gorgeous in this orange color and then i have a button down black that jacket cardigan that i'm in love with and it's by reformation and reformation has a lot of great pieces by the way for spring and summer just remember with reformation they do run slightly small so for the most part when you are shopping from their website you do want to go a size up but don't let that stop you from trying it because it's totally worth it and the sixth and last piece i want to share with you that you should try for spring and summer is fringe but again fringe that is elevated that looks so beautiful and put together the two that i share are dresses i feel like the dresses and the fringe look just on point if you do it right both of the fringe pieces they are slightly more fitted then the fringe is at the bottom and then some cutouts at top 
but they just look so classic and elegant on point. The fringe is almost just like a subtle detail to it, but it brings that piece to life. And both are have more of black and gold in it or black and white. So again, classic pieces that you can integrate. This is my interpretation for clients on trends that they can try because when you are shopping the trends, you want things that just feel more like you. And the trends that sometimes feel like you can't do are ones that feel a little too out there. So finding subtle ways of adding them to a look that you like is really the key in doing these trends. And finding ways that you can integrate it with what you already own. If you have killer shoes, trying on like a dress with fringe is going to be such a fun way to dress up your shoes that maybe you haven't taken out in a while. Or if you have jeans and get a trending top and you have jeans that go with it, perfect. And now let's get into the top three trends that clients are not trying and don't care to try and not wearing at the moment. And number one is the no pants look. This has been something that was all over the runways. I'm sure you saw this on the Golden Globes and the red carpets everywhere celebrities not wearing pants. And you know what? I feel like some of them pulled it off really well. I am not going to lie. They pulled it off really well, but I have yet to have a client for a special event telling me they want to go to the event and want to wear no pants. Like it's just not a thing. I feel like if you want to make a big statement and do something loud, then you can do that. But it's not what my clients are loving at the moment. The second is the sweater slash cardigan slash shirt with the ties in the middle that have no bra and nothing underneath. The models look really cute wearing it. It has 90s vibes, but more bare. And that's also definitely not anything my clients are trying at the moment. I feel like there is too much risk of exposure. And for the age group of women I work with, which are usually 30 to 50, it's just not a thing. I'm not even for myself. And I feel like I'm pretty, not super trendy, but I am open to trying a lot of different things as a stylist. And that's one that I'm like, eh, if I'm playing with my kids and I just like go down, bend over and get something, my boobs are going to show. So just not happening. And the last is short shorts. I'm all for a short skirt. I love a short skirt and a short dress for going out but the short shorts are really short. Like you bend over and you see your butt. Again, clients not going for that. As I'm sharing this, it's not that you can't wear the short shorts. It's just that my clients are just not inclined to wear that kind of thing because I mean, a lot of us are self-conscious about our body. So when you wear the short shorts, it really shows a lot unless you're doing like tights and unless it's dark. You know, it's something that is really hard to pull off. You've got to have like this much confidence out of the roof and, you know, have really good legs. But if you feel really good wearing it, go for it. I'm all for it. I am so glad that we got to go over this today and tell me on Instagram. You can find me at the closet.edit. I want you to share with me what trends you want to try or even ask me questions. Hop into my DMs, ask me some questions. I'm here to support you as you're trying to figure this out because with this trend guide, especially, I think it's just fun to dive into all of the different things that have come into the world of fashion for the season. I feel like there's a lot to look at and pick from. So let me know your thoughts. And if this is something that you really enjoyed, share it, give me five stars and share a review with me. Let me know what you felt was most helpful for you. I love being here again to support you and making this process in your shopping journey easier for you. Thank you for spending time with me today and continue building a life and style that truly reflect you.